Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to Smile to Jannah. Hello darkness my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. Oh my god! No! Oh my god! We the vision softly creeping. Oh my god! What now? Smile to Jannah. <laughs> I'm sure you guys are smart enough to know by now. The politicians lie. Look, let me say, politicians have always lied. But it used to be if you caught them lying, they'd be like, oh man. <laughs> now they just keep on lying. Of course, we also know that journalists are not what they once were. No, it's impossible to get uh, an informed uh, uh, coverage are pretty well anywhere in the world unless you navigate your way through these days through the internet. Uh, if you don't navigate and you sit in front of your television set then you're likely to be given propaganda. Now once upon a time their job was to really search for the truth even if it meant going against governments, corporations, etc. Nowadays we know they're either mouthpieces for the government or by the corporations are actually funding them. Now every now and then we come across one interview, one brave journalist who's gonna mysteriously disappear later. Here we found such an interview of Theresa May's recent visit to South Africa and this Channel 4 journalist literally roasting her and making her life really difficult. Now let's react to this one together. Mrs May you're about to visit Robben Island, you were active in politics in the 70s and 80s, what did you do to help release Man Nelson? Okay so the question is what did you do? Well I think what is important is what the United Kingdom did. And so oh so she's now changing the question and telling the guy this is more important, this is what you should be asking me mate, why are you asking me this? Some of the what actions, did you do? What did you do? Did, did you go on protest? Good journalism. Did you get arrested outside the embassy? Did you boycott South African goods? Okay, did good. you do anything? I think you know full well that I didn't go on protests, Michael. Oh, I think you know full well. Well, he's not the only one that's being addressed at this moment in time. It's all of us. But what is important is the oh. work that the United well, did you Kingdom, boycott South the work, goods? the work that the United Kingdom government oh. did to ensure that it was able to give support where that support was needed that to enable Mrs. the Thatcher, as the Mrs. Thatcher believed that Nelson Mandela was a terrorist. Uh oh, let's see how she squirms her way out of that. Were you a loyal Conservative Party member? Did you think the same thing? Okay. What was important was the support that the Oh my god, that's got absolutely nothing to do with the question he's saying. She's gone back to the United Kingdom. That's more important mate, ask me that question because I actually know the answer to that. The UK government was giving at the time, often support behind the scenes uh, but in, in other ways- Support behind the scenes? I'm sure Nelson Mandela didn't need support behind the scenes, he needed it in front of the scenes. To, but, but to ensure to that we saw, to ensure that we saw oh. the the result that we did in relation to the ending of apartheid here in South Africa. A government what is led important? by a woman who thought that Nelson Mandela was a terrorist. Now you're going to be going to Robin Island. <laughs> Are you going to be feeling guilty? This guy's ruthless. That at the time Nelson Mandela was on Robin Island, you, Theresa May, did nothing to help his release. You personally. What I what I will be feeling, I think, when I go to Robin Island, uh, is to recognise the. Ooh, so this guy actually went into the emotion side of things. Immense statesmanship, statesmanship oh, of a man who spent so many years incarcerated and when he came out of that incarceration had that breadth the typical of vision political drivel. and that calm approach that has enabled South Africa to be built Nonsense, into the country mate. that it the is gibberish. today. A country with which we, the United Kingdom, have long historical links. Yes, we know that. But for obvious reasons. That's not why you but asked also, you that. Oh my God, what, what's she doing? Is, she, is there something wrong with the leg? She's just pivoting on it. Whoa, there's a bit of foot movement there. Wow. Why 
gosh, she seems happy with that. What is the true definition of a terrorist? Let's chuck the dictionary to one side. The practical definition of terrorist. What is it, Mr. Chomsky? Terror that they carry out against us. That's terrorism. And uh, nothing else passes through the filter. They called, of course, Osama bin Laden. He was a freedom fighter once upon a time. When he went against the UK and US, then he became a terrorist. The Nazis, of course, they were favoured by even the British leaders. The Daily Mail had good connections with the Nazis. And I hope you've learned something about the politicians that we have today and the importance of you guys to figure out what's going on in politics. And the only way you're going to do that is number one, be spiritually in tune. Follow your deen, number one. Number two, make sure visually you're not being indoctrinated. You got to cut off the unnecessary TV, movies because that's what's being used to condition your brain. And number three, be cautious about what you're eating because that affects your persona, that affects your energy levels. With regards to your diet, stick to a mostly plant-based whole grain diet and of course keep fluoride out of your toothpaste and water. Drink mostly bottled water and inshallah your mind will be more clear to see the truth. Until next time guys, Assalamu alaikum.